histories. I mean, I was very surprised when I went to America uh, as a postdoc because I had grown up in a, a system in Cambridge where people were very, they were kind of snobbish <coughs> about experiments, I would say. Namely, you know, you don't do the experiment until it's so beautifully refined that uh, you can tell the difference between a doublet code and a triplet code by whether the viruses grow or not. So, you know, the, the outcome is <coughs> black and white, and it's in you know, tremendous setup, incredibly intelligent. Huge amount of thought goes into the experiment. Then I went to America, and I found no thought went into the experiment. <laughs> <laughs> but they worked like hell, you know. They just... So you say, why are you doing that? You know, what is the point of this stupid enzyme that does, does this? And uh, they said, well, well, you know, it's just there, and we're going to characterize it. And you said, well, what a waste of time, you know, because it's not going to tell you anything about anything. And I realized that actually, in the end, there is room for both kinds of approaches. And you actually need both kinds of approaches. You need very clever people making great breakthrough insights. And you need people who are just sort of filling in the background. And sometimes the filling in the background becomes, a, you know, it, it generates these, these in, insights. So it's, one should never be too judgmental about what other people are doing, unless they're wrong. <laughs>